During the excavations in the 60s, the archaeologists noticed that at the top of the two pillars of the shrine, there was an organic residue. So they ran an analysis, but at that time the technology was very limited and did not provide any conclusive results. So the pillars together with all of the artifacts were taken to the Israel Museum for safekeeping, where they stayed on display for half a century. Until very recently, when a new team of archaeologists decide to try a modern and improved analysis technique. And so just last year, a team says, hey, wait a second, we have this new technology that can identify organic compounds. So let's go to the Museum of Israel and examine the top of the columns from this Holy of Holies. What if we will be able to identify what they actually burned here, what they sacrificed? And what they find is mind-blowing. The big pillar had a residue of frankincense, a fragrant perfume that the Israelites were instructed to burn as incense in the tabernacle and then later in the temple in Jerusalem. While the smaller pillar had a very well-preserved residue of cannabis. And it wasn't placed there just for beauty, but the analysis found that it was mixed with animal dung which acted as a fuel so that when it's burning, the cannabis plant could reach the needed temperature to produce mind-altering experience. Tell us all this time, song is all this rhyme, making up the sheet. <laughs> <laughs>